It has been almost a year since the last NYT ORL 5-hour ND Cup Series race. And now we return at Kansas Motor Speedway. David Rasher on your pole. On the pole today. And he's also your current points leader, so. Along with Bob Ferguson on the front row, we're expecting a great race today. As we also got. As we also got. Um, Zach Campbell and Zachary Brown on the field. And believe it or not, I finally got the engine noise. It's finally working. So I think all oh, you are pretty excited about this race. The CNET 500 on, N on the NYT URL 5 Hour Energy Cup Series is going to start with David Roster on your pole. Here we go. We're expecting some great racing there. And here we go, green flag is out, and we are underway. We're expecting some pretty good racing today, so let's hope for the best. As David Rush are already taking a big advantage, as Zach Campbell falls behind him. As everyone, he's just pulling away. As we're expecting some great racing today. As I think David Rush is going to lead lap one here. Yes, he does. Yep. There we go. As he enters turn one. And oh, we're on the caution. We're on the caution. Oh, we see the red. I see the red. Oh, one car on the fence. We are going into automatic super speedway mode. Suddenly. That was... Automatic super speedway road. I saw one car upside down, but Ryan Cooper, Jake Richards, William Duncan, Ryan Cooper, Danny Wells, Seth Gold's old that was heavy damage on JJ Hamilton, P2 London Blues engine, and I thought I saw a car upside down or something. Who was it? I don't see him. Probably in the probably in the pits or something. So what happened? Oh, there's William Duncan again, everyone. Oh, whoa! Aaron Mason! 17 car! That was... So let's see what, actually what happened. That was pretty strange. Believe it or not, there was actually two parts of the wreck. The first part involved Ryan Cooper, John Acosta, and P2 London getting into each other. And check this out. J.J. Hamilton, nowhere to go for him but right into P2 London. Set, same with Seth Cole and Ryan Cooper. As everyone else is... Comes out very close miss for James Silverfox and the Jake Richards, but not really lucky for Mark George. And then the second part of the wreck, right here, involved Iron Siegel and Sean Gallagher getting into each other. And then the 17 guard goes airborne, and Iron Siegel just slams him right in the side slash rear of the corner panel, going in the air, into the fence. If that fence wasn't there, it would probably be over the, over the, over that, over the freaking I just see it and it just goes over and he just off the fence, just one barrel roll and then lands on this roof, unfortunately. That was pretty unfortunate for right now, but that was pretty pretty nerve wracking. Um, I saw the lights go off. Was it this time? As Matt 
Olsen and the 99 Ryan Casa going pretty far back. I saw him pretty close up to the field. 17th. What happened? Well, that's why we invented replay. So let's find out what happened. This is the Jaden Hamilton's hood was removed after the accident. So let's see the replay. Okay, here's a replay as we got Matt Olsen and Eric Burton drafting right behind them. P2 London and Dylan Young. Nowhere to go for them, but right into each other. And then Dylan Young under the wall. Also, as you see here, JT Twonsky right in the back of him. As he goes right under the wall. And then the six of Ryan Acosta gets loose. And he as his car spins out. And um, when I was filming, I was just wondering who else was spinning. Because I didn't see, I see Ryan Acosta getting back in the getting straightened out and back in the field. But... As we're about ready to go under green, back to green again here with um with many laps to go. As oh wow oh I think Zach Campbell's finally gonna make his move here. He is right. Oh no, I think David Rogers' car didn't start, and now it did start. David Rogers now starting to pull away from the 88. I mean, there's nothing the 88 can do technically. But David Rogers is just going to win this race, probably. As he's exiting, as he's going to go down, he's going to start going down. David Rogers is going to have an awesome little paint scheme that's going to be next week, so. That might slow him down a little bit. So. As he is just pulling away. That is just incredible. Enjoy the sounds. I'm just gonna turn off my mic. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I knew it. Pretty much knew that, probably. Yeah. So, as Dan Rogers. Oh, and there's Zach Campbell there. But he is just pulling away as we're going to go ahead and look at Danny Wells, very back. As Roger's starting to go three wide for one second, then get William Duncan there. And then we're going to probably see another crash later on. Let's see, here we got some pretty good battling up here. Zach Jones and a couple other drivers. Danny Hamill and a whole bunch of others. I mean, this is just getting pretty insane here. But for the right moment. But you never know what's going to happen. There might be a spin or a crash or something that's going to come in the next couple of laps. As we wait, I see Dan Rogers just pulling away from the rest of the field. Like I said, he's the points leader. Joshua Michaels in second place with two wins. It's based on how many wins you get. And we have a big Green when this thing ends, or at least ready. 
So. About ready to go under green again, so hang on. Just one second. I'm back. Yeah, sorry if I scared you, but that's probably one of the worst intros of all time. Just throwing stuff away. Well, as you see here, Damon Roster, Zach Campbell, Alex Jeffries, who's won the 5 Hour Energy 500, and Bob Fergus, who hasn't won a race yet, is right behind that. But as we're back, ready to go under green for the final five or six, actually six laps. For the final six laps of this race, can Zach Campbell make his pass and make his move for the win? Or will David Roster hold it off and make it and win this race? It's going to be pretty nerve-wracking for the fans here. They're going to see David Roster win again or see Zach Campbell win his first race this season. Like I said, next week's going to be Talladega, and this is going to be far worse vex there might be like less people in this race in the race probably like only like 10 or 11 drivers left in the race and that's gonna be pretty nerve-wracking because once the caution died dega doesn't mean the wrecks are over because many times when i did some practice rounds once there's like a small spin right next to turn three there'll be like a humongous wreck in turn three on the back stretch so that's gonna be pretty nerve-wracking and that's believe it or not tomorrow because that's right Every day I'm going to be post posting a new race, except for, except enough for tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, but not really. So there's going to be Father's Day and everything. I'm not going to the Michigan race, unfortunately, like last year. But still, it's going to be pretty exciting. As you see here, he is going, as going to reach the 21 minute mark on the race. Or according to the NRG3 thing, but still. As we, he is just pulling away with three to go. Now two to go. And I think David Roster's probably going to win this race. It's not even, it's still two to go. That is just... Sorry about that. Um, my mic crashed. But, um... Anyways, David Roster's probably going to win the race. It's not even the end of the race. But still, he's going to be doing... He is doing pretty well in today's race. So... As we're going to reach the final lap of the race. David Roster pulling away. Zach Campbell nearly is almost a second behind. This is just going to be pretty amazing. It's going to be it. As, as David Roster enters turn three. And now entering turn four. Now entering the trioval. David Roster wins the scene at 500 at Kansas. Another win for the 24. Your points leader. Zach Campbell way behind. 1.11 seconds behind. That was like amazing. That is just amazing right there. Here's your final standings. As we're going to go ahead and show you the final standings here. But still, that was a pretty good race. As you guys see your standings here. David Roster wins your race. I see here there's all the... He says the drivers are falling in. Oh, wow! Oh, I'm gonna write the Zach joke and everything, but, um, I see the only driver out of the race was Aaron Mason. That was it, so, um, that was a pretty exciting moment there for Ed Roster. As the, probably usual, many people expected it. David Roster wins again, along with Zach Campbell, Alex Jeffries, Bob Bergen, Joshua Michaels, who is second in the points, Zach Brown, Zach Austin, Austin Elko, Eric Burton and Chris Dorrance. See you next time at Tanega! That's it. Subscribe to the Man Your Manners. Smell like I'm funny in here. And, and see you tomorrow. Peace out.